We haven't done this in a year and a half. Or May, when was the last time we did it? It's gotta be like May of 2020? No, 2021? Uh, yeah, yeah, May of 2021, I think, was our last episode. And um, we're back now. And we got our assistant Natalie over here. Thanks, Natalie, for setting up the camera for us. Um, How much do you think it would cost to buy a building in New York City right now? So it obviously depends on what building you're talking about. It could be like a like a little five story like apartment complex, or like the Freedom Tower type, like yeah, but which like, I don't think building, is for sale. Like, <laughs> like, I wish one though, because like the very like if you want to do a building like the Freedom Tower, like a hundred story inside, like like for like corporate stuff, we're talking hundreds of millions at least, if not a billion. But I don't really know. I do residential real estate, so not commercial. <laughs> All right, so tell us about your tax program, bro. Why are we even in here? Yeah, we're the reason I speak about building costs and uh, you know commercial real estate is because Barl is into real estate now, and we're in New York because I'm doing a program, so we're back. <laughs> Hey, this is uh, hey. this is the podcast. I'm Marcos, and this I'm is Blake. Blake. If you didn't know, now you know. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> so we're here. We're in New York City. I'm doing a tax law program in New York, New York University. An amazing program of amazing professors, classmates. Everybody's super smart, very engaging, and I like it a lot. It's Wait, really cool. But last time you were in law school, last time we spoke to you, you were in law school. So how are you in like? What is it, like a grad program for a grad program? Like, I don't get it. Yeah, essentially it <laughs> is. I, I graduated law school in May, and this is just a program, you know, like a master in law. So it's a specialty in, in tax law, and it's really, really engaging. You know what I mean? It's very tax-based, obviously, but I have, you know, some flexibility. Maybe if I hadn't taken bankruptcy in law school, I could take it now, but, you know, I, I have... I feel like I picked a good coursework in JD, and now my my coursework is is kind of crazy, you know. So why do you like taxes though? I feel like taxes is like the like least interesting field in law, right? Like, I mean, you could <laughs> some people think that. I honestly think it's the most interesting, right? right? Because everything has a tax implication, pretty much. You know what I mean? Every business transaction or anything really that's moving society forward has a tax implication right and so it's just the root of everything i think people think about tax implications when they select whether or not they're become they're, they're becoming a partnership or a corporation you know what i mean a c corporation there's different tax implications for what you want to do obviously there's other implications if, if you're a corporation you know there's like limited liability for the shareholders and stuff like that that partnerships don't get so there's just you know it's really just the root of everything. I okay, think. interesting. <clears throat> now ask me about what I do. What was I doing? Yeah, last I, I don't care. No, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, yeah. So Blake is doing real estate and explain it to us. All right. Man. So last time I was on the pod, I didn't know what I was, I was doing. I was uh oh was I um I was an RBT right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. I was doing that, and then I... Uh, Ar- explain what an RBT is. No, bro, this is, like, so long. So, I was basically, like, going over to people's houses and doing behavioral therapy with their kids. Registered the behavioral therapist. Technician. I wasn't, like, oh, okay. a therapist. I didn't have, like, okay. a master's degree or anything. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then I went... To, I moved to Gainesville for um, a research lab job in, a, like, neuroscience and clinical psychology type lab. And that was fun. And then... I ran into our boy Cody in Weston while I was visiting and uh, he uh, is in real estate and he basically like was like, yo, like join real estate. So I was like, all right, <laughs> put you on. Yeah, his parents are like the best mentors ever. So that's basically why I, I jumped into real estate because it was a big leg up. Um, so now I'm a realtor in uh, Weston, Florida. So if you're looking to buy or sell a home in South Florida, let your boy know or rent. Too, Blake Atlas Realtor yeah. on Instagram. <laughs> You've been getting a lot of views, man. You've Bruh, been popping up. I post like so, like they're so stupid. Like all this, like videos I post, like like 
I just get like random ideas of like what would be funny from like sounds on TikTok, and then I just like do like an like a voiceover or a, an acting to it. So it makes sense to do that, you know. First, it's fun probably to make the videos. Yeah, it you know, is. it's funny. It is. And if if you get exposure, that's the best thing for your yeah, brand. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm trying to pop off. Like maybe people are gonna like. I don't know. I heard like there's a lot of business through Instagram, so that's why I'm doing it. That's cool. But um. All right, so now we are in New York, and I'm visiting you for the weekend. Yes, sir. And it's kind of crazy that we don't live in the same city anymore, but... I know, man. We used to see each other every day, dude. Yeah. Remember back in COVID when we started the podcast? Yeah. Wait, so yeah. tell us, what is it like living in New York? Like, for someone that doesn't know, like myself. It's a culture shock to the maximum, you know what I mean? If you're coming from a suburb, and you don't really have exposure to, like, city life it's wild you're just walking and there's people that you've never seen ever like and you're never gonna see again you know yeah what I mean? like I it's imagine. like just constant flow of people like you have to be looking just in case like always keep your head on a swivel if you're walking like anywhere you know what i mean it's is like, it dangerous i wouldn't say it's dangerous you know what i mean but it could be so how are the people like compared to like south florida like are they rude up here as like the uh, I mean, most people just mind their own business, you know what I mean? I wouldn't okay. say they're necessarily rude. Like, I feel like that's a, like, a stigma, right? Of, like, people in New York. Like, they'll, like, yeah. bump into you on the subway and, like, not say sorry or something. I mean, some people, like, yeah. I mean, just, I feel like most people here just, they have less of a filter type. You know what I mean? Yeah. They just, like, don't care because they know they're not going to see you again. You know what yeah. I mean? So they're just like, this is my shot. Like, <laughs> I'm just going to say whatever I want. And yeah. Like, sometimes, like, sometimes I want to, like, do something about it. Like, do something, like, but at the end of the day, like, you know what I mean? Well, has I, anyone, like, yelled at you? Before? Someone's been, like, mad disrespectful. Really? Like, to me and my, my girlfriend. What? <laughs> you know what, what I mean? Happened? So, it was just, I mean, just people just say, like, disgusting stuff, bro. What? Yeah, just, Is it, like, New York? They just, yes, like, talk to you just randomly, like... They don't come up to us like that. I mean, sometimes they come up to us like that, but it's just, like, you know what I mean? If I, if I do something, like... They have nothing to lose. If they're coming up to us at that point, you know what I mean? Like, they're, like, they're just asking for trouble and stuff. You never know if they have, like, a knife or something or, like, a gun. Bro, I'm not trying to mess with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I put my ego aside at the end of the day. Like, yeah, I want to do something and they deserve to get, like, rocked. But <laughs> it's not going to be me because I have lots to lose. <laughs> you know what I right. mean? Like, so. so would you say, like, most people walking on the street are, like, going to work or going to school or going are they kids or are they like teenagers or are they yeah i mean it depends on the time of the day but i know there's it's just mostly adults you know what i mean i hardly see like i think i have one time maybe when i was like on the one train or something there's like a school for like high school or something because i came like at a different time for an exam but uh yeah most of the time it's just adults you know i mean once once you get to a certain point on the subway maybe there's like a lot of NYU kids. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, but yeah, for the most part, just random adults. So give us some pros to living in New York compared to South Florida. I live in Jersey City, so uh, let's just put some respect <laughs> on that. Because Jersey City is very slept on. And honestly, I, I like it much better than Manhattan. I like it much better than, like, the surrounding areas. It's like I would, yeah. I would rather live in Jersey City than, like, Queens or, like, Brooklyn or, like, Staten Island or something. You know what I mean? So put some respect on Jersey City's name. You get to see New York from the outside, which honestly for me is better than just being there. Cause like yeah. you get swallowed up in the, in just the entire vibe. You know what I mean? Just like, I mean, it's, it, I like being in Manhattan, no disrespect. I love Manhattan. I love going to the Central Park, to the museums and stuff. There's a lot of culture there and stuff. It's really old, but you know, it's, it's just, I like being able to take myself outside of that. Right. And Jersey City provides that and it's so, nice here man it's clean super like safe never really had like an issue here you know what i mean it's pretty empty and the awesome. streets yeah, yeah it's, there's like, no one walking on the streets really wide sidewalks and yeah. streets and it's like it's awesome man i love it. a lot of bars and like restaurants it's cool dude good food good vibes honestly so i yeah. like it here a lot but yeah what were you gonna say you're saying what's the difference between yeah here like, and give me a like, pro of Florida? like yeah of like new york versus like like, yeah, South Florida. So I, I sold my car right before we moved here. And 
not having a car definitely like reduced my stress in a way because like driving in Miami especially is stressful yeah. <laughs> like very like there's a lot of stressful bro like, driving events. here would be stressful right oh absolutely that's like, why yeah, my brother is a crazy like New York <laughs> driver he's very oh like, yeah he was now. wild he was trying to like parallel park and like yeah and like people were crossing he's like woo and yeah. like just oh, go right God. in front of them like it's it, scary yeah Milo uh respect to your New York driving yeah, voice it's kind of sus yeah but it's like you know give or take because obviously what we were talking about off the pod earlier yesterday is that in Miami you get to go wherever you want you get to go right to your location yeah. right and it's by your own like means like you're in your own car that's why it's just like different and then like once you're there like if you are where you want to go like most of the time you're not going to like put yourself in a position where people would like accost you type shit right you know what i mean yeah. so here it's just different so yeah. like there like here it's just like you you take when you get it, you know what I mean? If you're taking the path, like, anybody can be on the path, like, <laughs> so. Yeah. And then, like, when you get off the path, you go on another subway, it's all public type stuff, so. That's another thing that I noticed is transportation. Like, if you guys wanted to, like, you can literally see, like, like, Manhattan from here. So, if you guys literally just wanted to go across the, across the Hudson, you'd be like, okay, I have to plan out 45 minutes ahead to, like, walk out of the apartment. It's like, in what, in, like, South Florida, like, that's not really a thing. It's like, okay, I know Publix is like 15 minutes down the street. It's like, all right, I'll get there in 15 minutes. Right. Well, you have to rely on trains. Right. You have to see like when, like the schedule, right? Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so let me explain to you a little bit about how like the system works here. So coming here, I had no idea how any of the subways work. And I wish like, I mean, my brother told me a little bit when I came last year with Dixon, he explained like a good amount, but it's too much to take in when you're like first time there, you know what I mean? If yeah. I hadn't given you the car, you would have been like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, what do I do? Like, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's just, so I live in Jersey City. Obviously, I put back <laughs> on Jersey City's name. Sorry for cursing, but <laughs> all right. Yeah. So I take the path into New York and I take the path from Exchange Place. The path is a train, obviously, that goes from Jersey to New York. There's two different path lines. So the World Trade Center one, and then there's like the Hoboken one that goes to uh, like kind of where my school is. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and then in Jersey, there's the the light rail that takes you like we can go to BJ's really close, we can go to the mall really close, you know, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, we take the path into World Trade Center and then there's a lot of different lines. So on the west side of Manhattan, you could take the one yeah. train or the red line i don't know if it's like the one two um so you can take that up all the way to the bronx which is all the way you know at the top how, how's the nightlife here like do you go to like more house parties or do you go to like uh clubs more or bars or like honestly i haven't really seen like a club like that i don't think we've really been to On like, Friday, a club, it's like a club club kind of dashford yeah that, yeah, I mean, it was like kind of like a bar type. Wait, and last night, we were at like a club. That is a club. Like, it has a bar. It's a local bar club. What is a club without I'm a bar? Club, like, like, I'm thinking club like live type, you know what I mean? Like, but there's bars that live. Right? It's like a huge dance floor, you know? Yeah. I'm yeah, thinking like the, yeah. I'm thinking like the huge, like, just like a strobing lights, like oh, crazy, like well, atmosphere. What about last night? It was like pretty crazy, like all crammed in that like basement with a lot of, a lot oh. of music and like yeah. some blue I still think that's like a kind of like a bar <laughs> yeah. that was just a bar to you guys yeah like, all true. I, for me I mean my definition for club is a very like specific you know what I mean I, I'm thinking like 11 or something even though I've never been to like these places like Loki I've never been to 11 I've never been to live and stuff like that but those clubs look crazy yeah you know what I mean like, well, like yeah. huge stands for oh, like, sure there's like, no like Actually, there might be crazy clubs oh, like absolutely. that. Oh, absolutely. No, absolutely. But it's just, you know, there's a lot of bars and stuff. I and mean, I think bars are like the scene here. You know what I mean? Have you ever been to a rooftop party here? Not a party, but... Oh, but actually, no, yeah, we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have. And it was in uh, Brooklyn. Is that cool? Yeah. Like, you get a view of, like, this, the Manhattan buildings? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, yeah. But it was kind of far. Like, it was a little, like, far from New York. Mm -hmm. It was, like, kind of in 
Brooklyn. Oh, so you can't really see this. The, you can the still see it, you know what I mean? It's, it's hard to miss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it wasn't anything, like, crazy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yo, so how much do you think a building would cost in Western Florida? Oh, a building in Western Florida? <laughs> yeah. Bro, I'm not in commercial real estate, my guy. So what is the difference between commercial real estate okay. and personal real Good estate? Good question. For, cool. So commercial real estate? Or is it called personal real estate? It's residential real okay. estate. So commercial real estate, you're, um, you buy it to run your business in it. You buy it to make money in it. Um, residential real estate, you buy it to live in it, like a single family home or like apartment or condo, whatever. Um, so yeah, where are you in the process? I'm a residential real estate, uh, or I'm a residential realtor. So what, what do you do? What is like, what are your job? Like, like an everyday requirements? Thing? Yes. Oh wait, to require to, to be a realtor or what would I do every day? Okay. Yeah. Let's just start from the beginning, <laughs> right? You want to become a realtor. What yeah. do you have to do? You got to take an exam. You have to take a, a 63 hour, oh, this is for Florida. You have to take a 63 hour uh, pre-licensing course, um, which there's a bunch of different uh, companies that do that for you. Is that online? Yeah, it's not, it, it could be either, but I did mine online. Okay. Um, and it's, it, it wasn't like, it took like a while. It took me like a few weeks, like three weeks. Wow. Because it's just like 63 hours, because I had a full-time job at the time, so it's like, I have to do it on the like, weekend, I have to do it like after work. Well, once you pay for the, the course, it stays up in, indefinitely or? No, I think there's like a, maybe like a two year limit. Okay. I'm not really sure, I think it's like two years. And then- um, Wait, sorry, how much was the course? The course, it's around like $100, $100 I think. Um, depends on like which course you get. Like there's a bunch of different ones and they're all competitive, okay. uh, but they're all good I think. Um, so I just got like the $100 one. There's one that's like 350, Interesting. But like I just got it. But what is <coughs> what what the course is for is to like help you take the exam, the licensing exam. Okay. And that exam is like I don't know how much it cost. It was like it was like fifty bucks. Like I don't I don't remember much. It wasn't much. But um yeah, it's a legit exam. Like you have to get a seventy five on it and like you can't just like go in there not knowing anything. It's like you have to actually study for it. It's like right. it's not some like BS like Oh, like all What's a house? common knowledge. <laughs> yeah, like common knowledge site. It's not common knowledge. What would you say a house is? <laughs> I would say like. What's your definition for a house? That's a good question. Cause like I guess like, can anything be a house? No, like, I'd have to stand alone. It couldn't be like connected to a building or anything. Okay. Um, and it has to be made to be lived in. I guess. Does that make sense? Am I yeah. missing something? Yeah, I feel like. That's pretty much covers like what a house is. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I sell houses, dog. That's cool. No, actually, there's a common misconception. We don't sell houses. You have to own a house to sell a house. So like, we you we guide. Inside. Yeah, we guide the transaction basically. That's what we do. So like a lot, there's a lot of like different opinions on this. People are like, oh, realtors are salesmen. Realtors aren't salesmen. In my opinion, like I'm not selling anything, so I can't be a salesman. But like. I guess like the culture of it is very salesman like because you have to get clients who are willing to let you help them with their sale. Like, right. I mean, you're essentially a salesman in the sense that you're trying to get the best price. You know what I mean? Yeah, like negotiating for on someone else's behalf though, like not right. on my behalf. Yeah. So it's not at the end of the day, it's not affecting your pocket directly, but it is because you make money off the. The sale, yeah, right? like so, it's a percentage of, of what the house sells for, but it's not in it's in my best interest to get the best deal for everyone. Like I'm not trying to like raise the price so I could like get more commission because then it's like you don't want you don't want to be like that person. Then it's like no one wants to buy from you. Okay. So um, it's all about reputation in the field Makes and sense. like and like connections and networking, and a lot of what I do is prospecting. So like I'm trying to just meet as many people as I can. So I could become like top of mind when you think of like selling or renting or buying. Um, so what I do a lot is I go door knocking. I literally like, like your neighbor, like, there's, like in Weston, there's a lot of gated communities. So I can't just walk into any community or I can't just drive into any community and like start door knocking. So thanks for the, um, Let the, you, yeah, let me be on the list. <laughs> like, he, like I'm on like uh, his family's list. So I go into the ridges a lot. Bro. Yo, <laughs> I go into the ridges a lot. And I door knock and I'm like, hi, my name is Blake. I'm a local real estate agent. Uh, are you looking to buy, sell or rent basically? 
Um, and then I, I provide like something like a service back. Like I, I give them, like I print out like market reports for like um, how long, how the average house stays on the market in Weston or like how much it's selling for the average house and like just a report on it and I give it to them. I just want to keep you updated on what's going on in Weston's market. And then um, hopefully like they, they engage in conversation. Maybe I'll get an email or like, and then I can like lead, add them to my email list of people that I send updates to and like uh, help them out with their like, if they want to move, things like that. Right, yeah, you sent me your the email report for yeah. the Jersey City, yeah. so you get to personalize the market report. Yeah. So how do you do that? How do you, Good is question. it an automatic <coughs> thing or do you have to input the information no, yourself? No. So as a, realtor, as a realtor, you get access to this thing called MLS, the Multiple Listing Service. And it basically has all the uh, up-to-date, like live records of what's going on in the housing market. So, um, although it, it is uh, specific to Florida, like the M the MLS Miami, that's like Florida or one of Florida's MLS systems. Um, but it can't tell me like live results from like New Jersey, for example. Um, that is public record, so it's not as accurate and up to date. But um, that's basically what I send you through. It's automated. Like I like for you, I have you in my system. It's called like a CRM, and I just like it. And all my all my contacts are in there, and I send you. Like I literally type in like your zip code, and then it's like, okay, you want to send a market report like monthly? Sure, yes. And then it goes sends you an automated email. Hi Marcos, here's your monthly like market report. Shows cool. you what's going on in your neighborhood. Thanks yeah, like I thought the email was really interesting, dude. So, yeah, yeah the market <laughs> report is definitely cool. I'm glad. I, I think it's cool, so I feel like other people might think it's Yeah, cool. most people are visual, you know what I mean? Yeah. They don't want to have, like, a block of text. No one's trying to get, like, an email, like, just like, oh, look, look, here's your market report, like, and it's all just, like, written yeah. before. Like, I send you guys my notes sometimes, my papers. I'm super proud of them. And you guys are like, too long, bro. Didn't read. Oh, <laughs> like, dude, you know what I mean? Like, nah, so, I mean, I get it. Like, you, you want that to be, like visual so yeah. uh, at the end of the day it's just better so yeah i think it's really cool and you should sign up so how do you sign up for your oh uh, if like, you want to like be on my contact list like literally go to my instagram page click alice realtor and it's in my bio just like click on my bio or dm me just like say hey can i like i'm looking i might be looking to move soon so um can you keep me updated on like the local housing market in this area and okay like, yeah i'll just add you to my list and put your area and it's super easy and I can customize it for whatever you want, like literally anything. Cool. So, so do you work with a company or do you work with them <coughs> by yourself or how do you do it? So real every realtor has to be uh, working with a uh, affiliated with a brokerage. Okay. Um, and all transactions go through the brokerage. Um, realtors are, are uh, uh, contractors. So they're not employees of the brokerage. They're kind of like just like, it's solely commissioned by the way. Um, there's no like, uh, like salary that you get. It's uncommon. Yeah. It's, I mean, no, well, I mean, all realtors are solely commissioned pretty much. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, unless you have some sort of deal with your brokerage so I don't think that's common at all, but, um, yeah, but I'm part of a team called the Sklar team in the Coldwell Banker brokerage, um, in Weston. And, uh, yeah, it, it, I highly recommend being a part of a team cause you get benefits like, uh, like I'm like. I get to use their CRM system for free, basically. Um, but there's different splits with commission. So if you're with a team, you're gonna split some commission with your team uh, rather than just the brokerage. But if you're alone, you just get to split it with the brokerage and that's it. Um, but yeah, you don't get those benefits, so. Cool, so I mean, if your team is performing well, essentially you get benefits. Is that what you're no, saying? No, I don't get a cut from their t the team, like the team, like leaders like get the cut okay but i don't get like, like if the team leaders yeah. are selling us like i don't want to get a cut all right that um, makes sense because like yeah. why yeah because <laughs> they're, they're, they're <laughs> and, and all their expenses are getting paid through them so it's like True. yeah so the cut should go to them not me type that's cool man yeah dude yeah you use the word crm a lot and i'm thinking back because i had an interview sorry with the irs <laughs> a few weeks ago yeah. and um i used that word I was, oh, yeah? yeah, because I helped, I, I helped develop, I guess, a CRM for a uh, solo attorney that I worked with. So I, I was explaining that to them and I just kept thinking about that. Oh, but, that's cool. Yeah, so I had an interview with the IRS recently and now I have three more lined up 
and I'm not gonna go too in depth on like the specific offices and stuff, but it's really cool, man. I hope I can get like a really good position with them. It'd be nice to work in DC in their national office because they advise all the other like regional offices, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it'd be a three year program. I apply for an honors program and let's Wait, see. Wait, there's man. an honors program for the IRS? Yeah, the, it's a honors like program in tax. So you have to stay there for three years because you know, they're putting in the investment to teach you. So they want to guarantee that you're giving it back, you know, returning, but you're going to give them so much more on the return, like in those like last two years, you know what I mean? Obviously you're going to be learning within those three years the whole yeah. time, but by the time like you're a year in, you know what I mean? You're going to be putting in so much like work. You're going to be grinding and doing well. So I'm excited. You know what I mean? I yeah. really hope I can get one of those positions <laughs> and Sorry, you know what I mean? Don't come after me. I understand that the IRS has a bad bad reputation. Yeah, you're gonna be a narc now. <laughs> not necessarily. Just don't tell me about any of your like transactions unless you want me to like come after you. Know oh I mean? my god. But shit. it depends. I mean, there's uh the international office which is uh really interesting. Obviously it's uh foreign foreign like businesses and foreign people and like their transactions here like US uh transactions like u.s persons transactions abroad and stuff so that's super interesting and there's another interview for pass-throughs and special industries which are partnerships as corporations llc so instead of getting like a you know the corporation a c corp they, they get taxed on their income the corporate tax rate and then they get taxed when they distribute in the form of dividends like so the shareholder gets the tax so there's two layers of, of tax right but partnership it's just income, it passes through according to the partnership, like agreement, you know what I mean? It dictates <clears throat> how like they're paid or whatever. And then once it comes into the partner's bank, like, or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a taxable event. So Yo, there's only one of, layer of tax. Speaking of investments, are you invested in anything? No, <laughs> because I'm, <laughs> like still, yeah, I'm still you? grinding on like oh, gotcha. school and like, government money <laughs> right now like yeah it's not it's not cheap living <clears throat> you know what i mean yeah i have lady liberty right there and she like took all my money so yeah it's <laughs> uh, messed up let's see i mean yeah but i really want to i mean you you yeah i'll tell you what me. yeah i'll tell you what i'm in right now <clears throat> like as of two weeks ago i put some money in um tesla like they're all like nasdaq pretty much like tesla apple amazon um what else like carnival cruise lines because that's because my old roommate convinced me he's like oh it's at a, it's at a dip like you're gonna want to get on it get in and he was so right he like it was like low like at 6 30 and then the net like the next week it was up 20 percent. it was wild and i literally didn't listen to him the first day i was like nah like i'm not into cruises like i only invest in things that i like right i'm like i don't really like i don't know i'm not i don't really know much about cruise i don't really like it so um I didn't, and then it went up 20%. I was like, oh, no, <laughs> he was right. So then it dipped a little bit, and I bought it, and now it's, like, going back up. So yeah, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, the stock market's not looking too good right now. Yeah, dude. I mean, I honestly think it's so interesting how just knowledge develops, right? Because you had no idea how the stock market worked. I mean, I'm not going to speak yeah. for you, but, like, like, I had no idea in high school, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So I really wish they taught you, like, about credit and they taught you yeah, about yeah, yeah. finance, taught you about, like, how to invest, like, where to invest. Yeah, but don't like, act like you would have paid attention in those classes, though. Like, I would have. Oh, you, you know that uh, I'm, like, very, uh, like, econ brain, but maybe, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to speak on, <laughs> like, what I did like, in high look, school. Look, you're like, yeah. oh, they should have these classes, and then, like, in 20 years when they do have these classes, the kids in there will be like, why do we have these classes? Let's do it. All right. <laughs> they're so boring like, yeah no i feel like it could be boring like i don't think you, maybe not like the entire class but they could you know what i mean i feel like the only reason they didn't have it is maybe because it, it would affect the the gpa system how do we end it we don't really end these we don't we literally just fade to black but yeah. this is the intro this is the intro we already filmed oh, the entire no. podcast so, do you want to know what we talked about? No, no, no. You guys want to see the view? That'd be cool. Let's let's show them the yeah, view. True. All right. Pause. Top the dillas and the hundred dollar billas and dillas. <laughs> All right. Let's see this bad boy. Woo! 
Lady Liberty. How do I zoom in here? Oh, I guess I can't. And then you got buildings. Yep. Lady Jersey. Liberty. New Jersey. Jersey over here. Manhattan's a yep. love. And then Statue of Liberty. Yes, sir. All right. Peace. Thank you for